Over half a million Guardians have added the world-class Arc Assassin's Kyle Melee Hunter to their build arsenal. But what if I told you that there was a grenade version of the Arc Hunter that was arguably just as incredible and just as fun? It's a build that completely dominates any Destiny battlefield with non-stop tracking grenades that light up the entire arena with a thunderous web of Arc Lightning. And with some of the best ad clear in the game, potent single target damage, plentiful healing, and buttery smooth gameplay, you'll be addicted after your first play session, guaranteed. But before we get started, two thirds of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you fall into that category, I would appreciate it very much if you would at least consider scrolling down and clicking that button. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about this Ark Hunter masterpiece. The whole build revolves around our grenade of choice, the Skip Grenade, a projectile that detonates into four drones that track and damage enemy targets. These grenades become greatly enhanced when paired with the exotic armor piece for this build, the Shinobu's Vow Hunter Gauntlets, which bring four unique benefits to our Skip Grenades. First and foremost, they grant us an additional Skip Grenade charge, allowing us to store a grand total of two Skips at any given moment. Next, they increase the drone projectile projectile count of each skip grenade from 4 to 5. What's more is that those projectiles will also track much more aggressively, making it borderline impossible to miss your mark with a skip grenade. And if that wasn't enough, skip grenades thrown while wearing the Shinobu's Vow Gauntlets will also refund 10% of your grenade energy for each projectile hit, allowing for a total of 50% grenade refund per grenade throw. Now, while that is indeed a pretty hefty amount of grenade energy, it certainly doesn't scream infinite grenades by any means. But throughout this build video, we will go over another 10 or so ways that you'll be able to easily refund grenade energy to have skips available faster than you can spam the grenade button to get rid of them. But first, let's take a look at the two aspects, four fragments, and other base abilities that will be sitting down next to our Skip Grenade Symphony. Starting with Flow State, a two fragment slot aspect that grants the amplified buff when killing an enemy affected by the Jolt debuff. Additionally, while amplified, in addition to the base amplification effects, such as increased sprint speed, slide distance, jump height, and damage resistance while sprinting, you'll also receive 200% additional base class ability regeneration rate, a 50 point bonus to your reload speed stat, and a huge damage resistance buff while dodging. But none of that matters without a way to jolt enemies in the first place, making now the perfect time to introduce aspect number two in Lethal Current, which after using your class ability increases the range of your next melee attack and allows it to apply Jolt and a damaging Aftershock to the next enemy hit. Additionally, any melee hit against a Jolted enemy will blind them. This second aspect of Lethal Current synergizes incredibly well with two of our base arc abilities, in Gambler's Dodge and Combination Blow, which as you probably know from my Assassin's Cow Arc Hunter video, can be used together to consistently refund each other in a positive feedback loop, where dodging refunds your melee and getting a charged melee kill refunds your dodge, all while ramping up a stacking melee damage buff to make that loop easier to pull off. Now, although today's Arc Hunter rendition is in fact a grenade focused build, these two base abilities in conjunction with the lethal current aspect can come in super clutch to kill enemies while our grenades are down and to activate an ability rotation that can further refund grenade ability energy, something we'll dive into a bit more after we go over our mods later in the video. Before we get there, however, we first need to touch on our four fragments that will take this build to a whole new level, beginning with the Spark of Shock to enable arc grenades to apply Jolt when dealing damage. Not only does this amp up the damage of your grenades through and through, but it also gives us an additional way to become amplified through flow state to gain all of those incredible buffs. You'll also want to piggyback off of this fragment with the Spark of Ions, which generates an Ionic Trace when killing an enemy affected by Jolt. Remember that Ionic Traces are energizing Seekers that track to you and grant you ability energy when picked up, specifically refunding 12.5% of your grenade and melee and 15% of your class ability. Slot number three will be occupied by the Spark of Amplitude, which generates an Orb of Power when when killing two or more enemies within a short period while you are amplified, which thanks to flow state and our jolting melees and grenades, 
is basically always. Our final fragment slot will be filled with the Spark of Resistance, which grants a 25% damage resistance buff when within 15 meters of at least three enemies, a staple for any endgame Destiny player. Now, I would like to note that the Spark of Recharge, which grants 400% additional base grenade and melee ability regeneration, can complement this build quite nicely as well. And should you find yourself more enticed by its benefits over those of the Sparks of Amplitude or Resistance, then feel free to make that switch. I would encourage you, however, to hang on to these sparks of shock and ions under all circumstances. With everything we've touched on so far, we have a lot of very strong components that work really well on their own. But to make this whole concoction truly insane, we need our mod setup to serve as the theoretical glue to bring it all together. We first want to focus on generating as many orbs of power as possible, which in addition to our existing generation method in the Spark of Amplitude, can be achieved with an Elemental Siphon mod on the helmet through Elemental Weapon Multi-Kills, Reaper on the class item through Weapon Final Blows after class ability cast, and Firepower on the gauntlets through Grenade Final Blows. Picking up all of these generated orbs of power will grant us a bunch of benefits through mods like Innervation on the boots for grenade energy on orb pickup, and since this build lacks healing, a copy of Recuperation also on the boots for a big chunk of HP on orb of power pickup as well. Additionally, picking up these orbs will grant us stacks of armor charge, which through stacks on stacks on the boots can be doubled for every orb picked up. To complement stacks on stacks, we'll also want one copy of Charged Up on the chest to increase our maximum armor charge stack capacity from 3 to 4. These armor charge stacks will be spent through two copies of Grenade Kickstart on our gloves, which with four stacks of armor charge can immediately grant approximately 50% of your grenade back to you on Grenade Cast, which when paired with the 50% refund you'll receive from the skip grenade hits themselves through Shinobu's Vow, equates to a fully refunded grenade every time. And since we'll be dodging a ton through our combination blow and gambler's dodge loop, it makes perfect sense to generate ability energy through that loop with bomber on the class item for grenade energy when dodging, and distribution also on the class item to grant energy to all four of your abilities, including your super, when dodging near enemies. But given that grenade kills are the main bread and butter of the build, it only makes sense to slot a copy of Ashes to Assets on the helmet for increased super gains on grenade final blows. You'll pair all of this with resists, reserves, and stat mods of your choice, prioritizing resilience, discipline, and intellect in that order. And as always, you can find a Destiny Item Manager link down in the description for a simple one-click way to copy everything in this entire build video over to your Guardian. Just like you can like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel with that same one click. Now the execution of this build is quite simple. You have a whole myriad of ways to refund your grenades, such as Shinobu's Vow Grenade Hits, Orb of Power Pickup, Class Ability Activation, Ionic Trace Scavenging, Grenade Kickstart, and Demolitionist Weapons. The key to keeping this build rolling is to be engaging in at least two or three of these practices at all times to ensure that your grenades are consistently being fired off. This build performs exceptionally well in on-level content like raids and dungeons, but can struggle slightly in contest mode content like Grandmaster Nightfalls where skip grenade damage doesn't quite wipe the field. Nevertheless, since all of the grenade energy in this build is based on usage and hits rather than kills, the build can still perform exceptionally well, especially during Arc Surge weeks, which we are sure to see a lot of next season. And don't forget to make good use of the melee loop with combination blow and gambler's dodge, which can be used to refuel both charges of your grenade in a matter of seconds with a few consecutive melee kills followed by dodges to proc bomber and distribution multiple times in quick succession. And as I said before, demolitionist weapons make this build feel absolutely incredible. And you can even throw a one-two punch shotgun into the mix if you want to add an extra kick to your melee combo as well. Perfect for activities that require bursty, single target damage. Overall, this build is crazy fun to use, and I hope you enjoy using it as much as you enjoyed watching this build guide video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.